Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Aurora successfully demonstrates autonomous UH-1H helicopter at Marine Corps Base Quantico. Magma UAV completes successful first flight. And NGC built fire scouts experience pivotal year. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Aurora Flight Sciences has conducted a successful demonstration of its autonomous helicopter system, which was developed under the Office of Naval Research's Autonomous Aerial Cargo Utility System Program. During several flights at Marine Corps Base Quantico's Urban Training Center, the AACUS-enabled UH-1H demonstrated its ability to autonomously execute resupply missions in relevant and austere settings. AACUS, which is an aircraft agnostic hardware and software suite, allows a Marine on the ground to use a handheld tablet to request a supply delivery via helicopter. No advanced training is required to operate the system. With us on board, LiDAR and camera sensors, AEH-1, can detect and avoid obstacles, as well as evaluate the landing zone. The system processes this information so that it can perform onboard mission, route, and path planning to enable the execution of an autonomous mission. This was the first demonstration in which the aircraft performed cargo and utility missions in an operationally relevant training environment, with marine interaction. During the demonstration, Marines loaded supplies for the aircraft and then cleared the autonomy system for autonomous takeoff. The December 13th flights capped off a successful five-year innovative naval prototype program. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Intel's Falcon 8 Plus UAS is being used to help preserve the 15th century Halberstadt Cathedral in Saxony and Halt, Germany. Recently, the UAS was used to capture nearly 1,000 detailed images, along with additional footage, in less than an hour of total flight time. That data was post-processed to create precise 3D structural models for Intel and its partners on the project to analyze. Design Technologies is breaking ground in autonomous unmanned aircraft systems cargo delivery, with its involvement in the inbound controlled air-releasable unrecoverable system program. Using its Ghost expendable glider, design flight testing recently proved aerodynamics and controls necessary for autonomous delivery of a small 3-pound payload. Industrial UAS developer American Robotics has unveiled its flagship product Scout which is a self-charging, self-managing UAS platform capable of autonomously conducting daily scouting missions in the field of precision farming. Specializing in agricultural automation, American Robotics says that traditional scouting techniques are inadequate at detecting plant stress early enough to offset the billions of dollars of lost yields. As part of a major product demonstration on the Airbus airfield in Hamburg, Fickenwerder, Hensolt provided proof of the performance of its Expeller counter UAV system, designed to protect airports and critical infrastructure. Hensolt demonstrated counter UAV measures using a combination of radar, RF, and optical sensors and a targeted jammer to representatives from the police, industrial companies, airport operators, and armed forces. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. BAE Systems and the University of Manchester have successfully completed the first phase of flight trials with MAGMA, a small-scale UAV which will use a unique blown-air system to maneuver the aircraft, perhaps leading to stealthier aircraft designs in the future. The new concept for aircraft control removes the conventional need for complex mechanical moving parts. This could give greater control as well as reduce weight and maintenance cost, allowing for lighter, stealthier, faster, and more efficient military and civil aircraft in the future. The two technologies to be trialed first are wing circulation control, which takes air from the aircraft engine and blows it supersonically through the trailing edge of the wing to provide control for the aircraft. 
and fluidic thrust vectoring, which uses blown air to deflect the exhaust, allowing for direction of the aircraft to be changed. The flight trials are part of an ongoing project between the two organizations and a wider long-term collaboration between industry, academia, and government to explore and develop innovative flight control technology with the ultimate aim of flying the aircraft without any moving control surfaces or fins. Northrop Grumman's autonomous Fire Scout helicopters, the MQ-8B and the MQ-8C, continue to evolve the combat capability of the Navy's air and surface warfare communities this past year. The U.S. Navy and Northrop Grumman enhanced Fire Scout's capability, concepts of operations and missions set by demonstrating targeting capabilities at sea, over land, teaming with manned assets, and integrating new technologies. For the first time, Fire Scout's manned and unmanned teaming capabilities proved station-to-station -station hands-off of two Fire Scouts and the ability to stream organic intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and targeting data to an amphibious readiness group and marine expeditionary unit. With a radar already integrated onto the MQ-8B, the U.S. Navy has also started integrating an active electronically scanned array radar onto the MQ-8C. The addition of this advanced radar to the long-range, longer-endurance MQ-8C will greatly enhance any surface action group's ability to strike at distance and increase situational awareness over broad maritime and littoral environments. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero usenet and more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.